Welcome back to Living East Tennessee. Dr. Sheen Skibb is here from Premier uh, Surgical Associates today. Thank you so much for coming in. You Thank know, you for having this me. This is a time where a lot of us are on our feet a lot, and we may start to notice some issues with our veins or, or pains in our legs. Yeah. This is questions you guys get a lot. Yes, yes. Tell us more about veins and what we need to know as far as those aches and pains we might be getting. Sure, sure. So there are multiple types of vein issues that arise over time with people, and they can generally be divided into three separate categories. In the most mild situation, you have t uh, telangiectasias, which are basically the little spider veins that people okay. talk about, very common. In a more moderate situation, you have your garden variety varicose veins. And in the most severe situations, people actually develop swelling in their legs, permanent skin changes, and even ulcers, but thankfully that is relatively uncommon. Which is good to know, uh, yeah. but you all can do screenings and really help yeah. people understand yeah. what they're dealing with personally, yes. which is a, a huge comfort for us as we're yes. wanting to get that treatment. Yes. Yeah, one thing that is unique about uh, having uh, blood vessels fixed by uh, board certified vascular surgeons like we have at Premier Surgical is that we can fix all types of artery and vein trouble. And so even if there's uh, an unlucky person who comes in with major obstructive vein issues that require treatments inside the abdomen or pelvis. We can do all that in, term, uh, in addition to all of the more straightforward needle stick procedures to fix varicose veins and spider veins in the legs. We can fix all of those things with minimal difficulty. And in fact, we have a few operating rooms in our office off of Paper Mill where we uh, have a surgeon every single day fixing vein trouble for people. And the treatments, uh, you were just mentioning some of those. Yeah. A lot of times people want to know, how long will it take for me to get better? What am I yes. looking at here? I know everybody yeah. is different. Yes. So um, the, the bigger treatments dealing with major blood clots mm -hmm. in the legs, um, uh, those can now all be done with uh, needle stick procedures. Um, wow. uh, same with the outflow obstructions that are in the, the pelvis and the belly. And a similar thing in the legs when you have varicose veins or mm -hmm. spider veins, uh, those almost all can be treated with... Uh, uh, needle stick type procedures which didn't used to be the case. Wow, exactly. It used to be a lot more than that. I um, mean, you were just talking to me about the, the one thing that people always ask about or the one thing you want them to know about yeah. what you all do. Yeah. So, uh, Previously, the different types of uh, vein issues did require open surgery in the belly and for the legs uh, with the vein stripping procedures that were done right. where you literally had to rip the vein mm -hmm. out of the body. A lot of those things are really not necessary anymore. And so with small needle sticks and just micro stab incisions in the legs, we can fix the vast majority of these issues nowadays. And because it's all minimally invasive, they heal with almost no scarring. That's amazing. And tell people where you all are located if they want yeah. some more information. Yes, so it's 6408 Paper Mill Drive, and uh, we're right there next to uh, the Holiday Inn. Wonderful. Not hard to find. Thank you so much, Dr. Skibble. We appreciate me. you so much. I know mm -hmm. you've answered a lot of folks' yep. questions today. And we'll have